Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. I know exactly who sent this, be well, mainly because it says right on the front, but uh, this was a bit of a surprise because I had received what I thought I was going to receive from this company for a bit already. And then I realized, no, there's another larger box right here. <laughs> I think my, my wife brought it in, set it on the bench by the door and then didn't say anything. So here it is. I don't know what's inside. It's a complete mystery, but I'll be happy to share it with you guys. Thanks to CRKT for sending this box. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Presumably, um, presumably, yeah, that's how you say that. Everything that's in this box is, is available right now. So by the time you're watching this, uh, that should be the case. I'll, I'll try to link it down in the description. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's entirely up to you. Ooh, we have one, two. Now, I don't know about you, Accidental face reveal! I don't know about you, but uh, I, this these look like more premium boxes than what I mean, like the you know, like the standard, like the, the less expensive CRKTs come in little green boxes, right? If I remember the one that was uh, the Hogue and CRKT collab coming in a similar box. This is some strong <laughs> grab. Okay. So we got two here that are, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing, a uh, little bit nicer CRKTs. Um, what do we got? Does it say here? Fultz Ritual Compact. Wait a second. Is this, do we have two different ones? Are they the same? No, the same. Fultz Obverse. Okay, so I uh, just unboxed, I'm going to save this one for just a sec. I'll bring it back. I just unboxed what I assume was the budget version of this. That was the one you guys watched the other day. So this is something bigger, I guess. Or no, it's smaller in a larger pouch. <laughs> There's a lot of presentation. Oh, 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 it's, it's definitely a nicer version. Holy moly. Goodness gracious. It's not assisted. This one's manual. Okay, so we... Good Lord. Is this a core? Yeah, it is. What is this? What is the blade material? Uh, obviously, it'll all be it'll be down in the description. I, I didn't know that this is what they were sending me. So this is why. Wow, that's really good looking carbon fiber. Now, this looks to be titanium. We can test that real quick. I don't think I've ever handled anything. Obviously, I mean, I've handled a, a similar design, the one that I just unboxed the other day. But yeah, this is titanium. And then this is also, Damascus or possibly, da I don't know exactly what it is. It's some sort of Damascus material. Um, and the links below will give you insight on the materials here. But yeah, I feel like a titanium CRKT is a pretty rare thing. Definitely a titanium pocket clip. And very interested to find out what material they're using for the blade here. That is why... <laughs> I have never seen anything like that from CRKT. And at the same time, uh, it's very rare that I see anything with a Damascus bolster. And that is legitimately what that is. Yeah, look, we can see the layers here. Hold on, let's zoom in. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We can see those layers. They're not quite etched the way that this top part is. But those layers are absolutely present. That is exactly what that is. Very, very cool. Um, all I can do at the moment is speculate because I don't have any other information on this. But that's part of the fun of just taking it out and looking at it, right? Get to experience these first moments with everybody. And then down the road, do some research, carry it for a bit. And give you guys my final thoughts in the form of a review in a separate video. Let's go ahead and open this other one. This same kind of faults is it the designer the obverse is this heavier i don't think so still relatively the same sized object oh now okay so here what we have here is the same aesthetic but obviously a different knife 
Now, without even opening this, this is closed, you know, closed profile, much more to my aesthetic preference. Do I front flip it or do I, you know what? I'm gonna thumb stud it. Oh yeah. Now that's, that's real, that's real nice. What, what is the blade steel? Hmm, hmm, hmm. What is it? That is just, what is this? What am I looking at? I think that's just the mark from contact. Or does it say something like, my, my eyes are getting bad. What is this? It's nothing. <laughs> it's just a mark from the, <laughs> maybe from the closed position stop pin. Um, do we have a blade steel mark anywhere? Wow, okay. I don't know what it is, right? Um, I'm sure the website will say, but I do have to point this out. That's a real nice detent. Real nice. Real nice thumb studs too. Almost kind of a doorknob style, I guess. But very easy to uh, to get uh, get a hold of and deploy the blade. I also like this little... It's almost forward of what you, what I am guessing is the standard, is like the primary grip position here. Um, so we have a titanium liner lock on this guy. Really smooth bearing action. This is very different and not to, um, I don't mean to, you know, sound negative of CRKT. This is very different from what I've come to expect from CRKT. Uh, this is, yeah, very well tuned. I don't know at the moment where this is made. Not the biggest fan of the clip length here, but that's okay. I don't know at the moment where this is made or what the blade steel is, but um, it looks like, I wonder what that bolster is. Hold on, get the magnets of that one as well. This is one, no, that's also uh, either aluminum or titanium. The carbon fiber on here is really nice. I like a more traditional looking carbon fiber with this sort of laced in, right? That fat carbon is okay and sometimes it looks good and sometimes it doesn't. I feel like we see a lot of fat carbon nowadays. I kind of like this laced in look, right? Uh, I, think it, uh, I think it looks really, really good. In fact, I like the entire combination of colors here. This is like a gunmetal with the blue and black carbon fiber and with kind of a matte blue for the liners and backspacer, same with the pocket clip. This is all a really good color combination. I also really like the profile of the blade. Um, this is <laughs> this is really cool, man. Look at that little swedge there uh, out there at the nose of the blade. That is awesome, man. <laughs> wow. I'm really glad they just said, hey, do you want to look at some stuff and then just didn't tell me what I was gonna be looking at. Really nice detent and really nice action. I cannot stress that enough. That's that's great. Look at that centering there. Man, I can't wait to find out more about these before I do uh, the reviews. This was uh, this was special. This was um, this was really fun. I thought that they were gonna be sending me a lot of stuff that is, you know, or that was like less expensive and which was just fine i mean i always I, I love the idea of looking at more crkt stuff because I, I i look at a lot of the same companies and every now and then i sprinkle in other things um and so i don't feel like i've shown enough crkts not by a long shot so i was i was very happy to, that they wanted to send me some stuff and this is really interesting this is cool but this one is this was really interesting so yeah i think that one's going to go in the pocket uh immediately after the video is over but cool stuff. So links in the description to check these guys out. That's it until the full reviews of each knife. Thank you again to CRKT for sending these in for me to take a look at. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.